Welcome back, peeps, aka Riff, for tuning in the Banner Bros channel, where we're always taking a look at the newest tips and tricks in Modern Warfare and Warzone mode. Today, we're going to be taking a look at everything you guys need to know about parachuting and how to drop or land earlier than everybody else in Warzone. I'm going to show you guys how to get to this specific image right here, where there is one, two, three, four, five, six mofos behind me and I've got a gun and I'm already in the roof ready to mow them down. So again, you're going to learn everything and every single little tip that you guys need to know about this. And if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, please remember to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on. It deeply helps me out a lot because if you guys didn't know, 91% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed yet. So if you do, I would deeply appreciate it. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video. So first off, before I show you guys how to get to that specific image where you drop it for everybody else, you need to know the basics and the main idea of parachuting. One of the most important things that you guys need to know is, I'll show you guys in the video in the background, which I am going to uh, increase the speed, is how far can you drop with your parachute without doing the fast dive or anything, right? So the moment that you get off the plane, you open your parachute, and how far it can, can you actually go? And I did this a couple times, so I try to leave the airplane at 2,000 meters, and I try to see what is the farthest distance you can go obviously sometimes there are little discrepancies it depends on where you're landing because it depends if you're landing in a high place if you're landing in a lower terrain place if you're landing in a flat place but it all around it comes out to the same to the same amount of meters so you can usually go with parachute without opening around 1700 to around 1900 meters all right again this is if you open your parachute from the start and you do not close it and you go straight to your target again Remember, it depends where you're going to be landing, the altitude, and all that kind of stuff. But around there, around 1,700 meters and 1,900 meters. Now that we know that, it's pretty important because first off, you need to know how far you can reach the place, right? You ain't going to mark 2,000 meters and you're not going to try and skydive. So first off, and, and another thing that you need to really, really important is the fall damage because it's all about opening your chute at the right time right before you're about to land and hit the ground. That is also very, very important. So the fall damage when you are in your chute, and I tested it, it has to be really at, at the 15 meter mark or less than 15 meters. If you're at like this, if you try to open it at 16, 17, you're, you're, you're really playing it. You know, I, I've gotten like really, really few at 16, but most of the time when I hit 17, 16 meters, you die, you go down immediately. So if you want to go on the safe side, which is what I usually suggest is go in the 15 meter mark fall damage. So again, very, very important. Next up, another thing that you need to realize is there is also, once you're really close to the ground, there's specific meters where you cannot cut your parachute. So I don't know if you guys have noticed it. Sometimes when you're too close to the ground, but you're still in the air with your parachute, you just cannot cut it and you can't go down. And this is also very important because you don't wanna be in the stage. In that stage, that takes away about one to two seconds in which you can get a gun. And those one to two seconds are vital when there's somebody fighting right next to you trying to get that gun. And those range is around five to six meters. So when you're in that five to six meter range, you cannot cut your parachute. The only way you can get it off is when you land on the ground. Again, so very, very important. 15 meter is the maximum that you can open that you can cut your parachute and still survive and when you're in the five to six meter range you cannot cut your parachute it's very very important once you get to that 15 meter you cut your parachute now let's go back into this video that i showed you i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go back a little bit and, and i'm gonna show you what this is all about all right there's obviously different tactics depending where you want to go right obviously if you're 1900 meters away or 1700 meters away there really is no tactic you know that's why i told you that number at the beginning if you're 1700 1800 meters away you just got to open your chute move your joystick forward and that is it there is no secret there's no magic pill for that now let's get more into and obviously i'm not going to tell you guys how to drop faster when the when the when the um when the point is right below you i mean all you got to do is go straight down although something that i will tell you with that one is let me pause this right here if, if you're going to a point that is really really close always try to open your parachute always try to jump off the airplane when you're around 600 700 meters this will allow you to get that diagonal kind of drop and with that diagonal drop is when you can kind of cut your chute and you'll go diagonally forward if you go straight down when you open your chute you won't get that i don't really know how to i'll show you right now i'll show you right now what i mean when uh when we're doing the video so um, th this is i got this video because this is kind of like one of the more more common drops right this is going to be a thousand meter drop which is not too far and it's not too close this is kind of like the common drop right so obviously first you want to know where you're dropping beforehand that's something very important don't 
you know, if I'm already here at the mark, don't mark this scavenger because those couple hundred meters, those 50 meters can really kill you when you really want to drop somewhere early. So always have the place you want to drop beforehand. Now, something else that I'm about to show you guys is always drop at the lowest points in the plane. And what do I mean by this? When you mark a location, when you pin a location, you get the meters below and you can see how many meters away you are. And as you guys can see, when the plane is moving, the, the, the meters start decreasing. But there is a point where you're going to be as close to the point as possible and then the meters will start to increase. So what you want to do is you want to jump when those meters start dropping down really, really slow. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm going down and the meters start dropping down a little bit slow. As you guys can see, you want to drop kind of like in the middle. That's why I also opened my plane, opened my map just to kind of like double check where I am. So I, you always want to drop right in the middle. And again, if you don't open your map, the way to check it is check your meters. At the beginning, the meters are going to drop insanely fast. Once you're at that lowest point, they're going to start dropping pretty slow. And again, that's that's what you want to check. You want to check your meters, right? So now this is the trick right here. What what do I look at on, on how, when do I open my shoe? When do I close it? When do I open? What I look at is at the lines here. So you guys are going to see that depending on how far I am, I look at these lines right here. So... Uh, also something that, that you guys can see me do is I don't aim directly down. I, I always kind of aim up. Some people, you know, say it doesn't work. Some people say it does. Honestly, I think I, I like looking directly up at the beginning because it allows me to know that I'm going as straight far as possible, right? Because if you look a little bit down, then your dude is going to be going a little bit down. So that's just something that to keep in mind. And then I always say, I always take in mind here that the ticks on the side. This is honestly, it, it, it has to do with, you kind of have to know the game, right? I can't tell you at a thousand meters, cut and open every three. It, it's just something that you kind of have to get used to. Once you get used to that, something that I recommend again, always play with the ticks, right? So first off, if you're jumping something off of, uh, let's say 1500 meters, uh, cut and open every two ticks and then see how that works for you. You know, maybe you're like, oh, okay, I was a little bit short. So next time I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut and open every three ticks, right? You have to play around those ticks. So again, because it, it really depends on, on the amount of meters and what you're trying to do exactly, it depends. But it's something really important, always use these ticks. I mean, they're there for something, so you might use, you, you might as well use them. So always use your ticks as a, as, as a kind of like as a, as a, as a gauging factor. As you guys can see, I always use a tick. So I'm always opening and closing when I get to ticks. So you guys can see, I always close and open to the ticks. So that's something very important. Obviously, you know, this trick opening and closing. That's, that's not really, that's not really the hard deal, but you'll, you'll, you'll start to see what I do here. Obviously me dropping at the lowest point already gave me that advantage. You guys can see I'm in front of my friend and there is nobody in front of me. Now, what I'm going to do is obviously want to drop in the building. So I'm, I'm going to, I mean, I'm definitely, I'm going to push it to the limit. I'm going to keep cutting and opening my parachute to the limit. I mean, until you notice sometimes when you cut your parachute and you're not going straight, you're not, you're not getting that speed boost. You just kind of start dropping down. Once you hit that point, then you know that you have to open your parachute and you have to go and you have to keep using your parachute because once you cut your chute and you, you kind of drop down, you don't get that boost. That's when you know you have to open your chute immediately. All right. So let's go ahead and, and back down. This is, this is where I know. So right here, I'm going to use my chute and I'm going to open it. And there, as you guys can see, I mean, I play a lot. I mean, I play the chute. I always open the chute at, I mean, at the least amount of time. Because if you, if you open it way too late, then you're going to get in between those five and six meter distances where you can't cut your shoot and it costs you a couple seconds. And it's just a little bit hard. So as you guys can see, I mean, look at that. I am pretty close to the ground. That is something I always do. And as you guys can see there, we grab this. And I mean, look at that. Everybody was behind us. I managed to get one kill there. And I'm not sure if I got another one. Um, but again, we got control of the rooftop insanely fast. My teammate also dropped with me pretty fast. And if we would have gotten a little bit more enemies, they would have all been down because they weren't even close to what I got. I mean, you guys saw that. That was like, that was easy. One second, two seconds. Let's see. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, five seconds before that guy even had any clue, had any chance to even see what was going on. So again, that is why it is very important. So again, just to go over the tips and tricks, I'm just going to put that video again. 
I'll always use your ticks on your side, all right? That is always something very important. Yes, you wanna open and close your shoe, but use your ticks and then you'll kinda get that feel to yourself, you know? So you're gonna know, all right, once I'm at 1,000 meters, I know I need to open and close every two ticks, right? Once I'm at uh, 1,500 meters, I know I need to open and close it every three ticks. And again, remember, always try to go diagonal, as you guys saw there. If you guys go straight down and when you open your shoot, you're wasting that speed. As you guys saw that I used that diagonal to my advantage. Always jump and always go diagonal. Never go straight down because when you go straight down, you will waste that last shoot that allows you to open. And again, it, it's it's just bad. So again, remember, always, always use that diagonal. So let's just to recap, remember, you can jump around 1700 meters to 900 meters uh, if you open your shoot and if you do not close it, you can go around 1700 to 1900 meters, which is quite a bit. And remember, the death, the fall damage, which again is very, very important. You always wanna open your shoot around that 14, 15 meter mark or, or, or you know, or cut it depending on how you're playing that tactic. Um, but again, remember, all with that, it's, it's the, it's the 14, 50 meter range that fall damage. And again, remember, if you're really close to the ground, if you're five to six meters away from the ground, you will not be able to cut that, uh, parachute. So I, I'm gonna, there was two different, there's two different ways to land. There's one way to land, which I, you know, which is the way I was. It's, it's a little bit riskier, but you drop faster. And that's the way where you basically wait until the final second and then you open your chute. And uh, I mean, it, it's, it's until the final second. You got that one. Or you got the one where you got your shoot open, and once you're about to hit that 15 meter range, then you cut your shoot. So there's two ways to land, depending what you want to play. The best one, obviously, is this one right here because you get that boost from cutting it. But it's a riskier one because if if, if I don't open my shoot in the runtime, then smack, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna be a pancake on the wall. So it depends what you want to play. If you want to drop as fast as possible, you gotta open that shoot at the final final second. If you want to drop fast, but still you want to have a little bit of precaution, have your shoot open and then cut it when you hit that 15 meter mark. So yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. I deeply appreciate it. Hopefully you guys did learn something. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are the fastest dropper in your squad because I, I wanted to upload this video because I, I, it's not to brag or anything, but honestly, I do drop earlier than every single person in my squad every single time. I mean, if I really want to get to a place early, I always drop early. Now, something that I will tell you is if you guys look at this video and you actually apply it and use everything correctly and you drop before everybody, you just have to be aware because sometimes what happens is my teammates, sometimes they're not as good as dropping as I am. So you'll drop first and then your teammates are trash and then you've got three enemies behind you because they know how to, how to drop. Even though you drop first, but your teammates are trash and they're still in the air and they ain't gonna help you. So you do have to be aware of that. You do have to be aware of what you're gonna do and, and, and exactly how you wanna play it out. So yeah, just be just be aware of your of your, of your teammates. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. If you guys got any other questions, please remember to hit them down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer them. Remember everybody, as always, this was Banner Bros. And enjoy the rest of your day.